jobs we were talking about here today will require a high level of uh, cognitive ability. And uh, right now, it, it's not clear that our public schools in Indiana uh, are up to that uh, challenge. And that was just part of my exclusive interview with former Governor Mitch Daniels this week. I also asked him about his own future and about the importance of having federal leaders visit the Purdue campus. It was a great privilege, of course, not, not the first. This makes uh, five at least cabinet secretaries from different administrations who have visited us in recent years. But today is very significant. The subject matter is right in the center of uh, uh, the areas in which Purdue is, uh, we believe, leading the, the nation. That's why they came here. What does Indiana need to do, in your view, to stay competitive for these jobs, especially compared to our Midwest neighbors? Well, Indiana is more competitive than its Midwest neighbors now, uh, and which is a tribute, I think, to uh, Hoosier work ethic and to some, I think, sound public policy that's, that's been inviting to new investment uh, and to new business. Uh, but we've got to keep working hard to stay in front. We also have the issue that new industries like semiconductors will require new skills and new training. Purdue can do a lot. Ivy Tech can do a lot. But uh, we're going to have to produce that. Uh, at a time when uh, uh, almost every Hoosier who wants a job has one. Well, Indiana's dealing with a lot of challenges in the education area, especially after COVID. Are you confident Indiana can get there? We've got work to do. Uh, I think it was uh, uh, very uh, bad judgment to say the least that uh, uh, too many of our schools stayed closed too long. And we have paid a price. Our children have paid a price. It's been measured. There's no debate about this. We've got to catch them up. There have been calls, of course, for you to run for governor. Have you given any more thought to your future after Purdue? I really haven't. Uh, we have uh, got, uh, I believe, in sprinting through the tape. We've got four months of work to do. We've just announced a big initiative at Indianapolis. And it's not the last one that I want to get launched, at least, uh, before leaving. So there'll be time to think about tomorrow when tomorrow comes. Now, the former governor is stepping down from his post at Purdue University as the president there at the end of the year. And already, of course, there's a lot of buzz, yeah. Dan, about a potential right. campaign for governor in 2024. We'll see what happens. Of course, Kristen, thank you so much for those big interviews on a very important week in the news. We appreciate it.